Cash rules everything around me. Free. Get the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Life talk. I'm dropping two big gems on this one. So make sure you tag your whole team. Everybody that you envision getting money with in the future, tag them. The 10%, 20% rule. I know you're probably thinking, damn, how many rules this motherfucker got? I got a lot. And I go by all these rules because they help make and keep my pockets fat and make and keep my family happy. But today, we're talking about cash, baby. Cash isn't the king, but it is one of the kings. So what's the 10%, 20% rule 10% into your savings 20% into your credit cards now this can go for whether you own a business or whether you're just career driven so if you're just career driven working a nine to five and you're bringing in two to three steady checks a month from each one of those checks you need to be pulling 10% of what you made and putting it into your savings. I save from each check because we get bombarded with so much bullshit that we forget to take care of our future selves. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, man, I don't know, I might have to think about that. But if you really look at it, 10% is nothing. A lot of you blow 10% on some bull when you could be stacking it. And that 10% will not be missed. You can still live the life that you were living before after putting that 10% away. Now, if you're a business owner like myself and you have multiple sources of income coming in, within each source of income, you need to be taking that 10% away. If you have that one big check that comes in a month, take 10% of that and put it in a savings. If you have products that you're selling, each time you sell a product, take 10% of that sale and put it in your savings. If you're supplying a service and your clients are paying a monthly or weekly fee, take 10% and put it in your savings. Trust me, it adds up and it will save you when hard times come around. Kind of like we are in now. Now at first it's gonna look really small, maybe a couple hundred, soon to be a couple thousand. Eventually it's gonna start looking real tasty. Don't touch it. Please don't touch it. Unless it's a real deal emergency. Keep stacking, keep building. Because one day, the right investment is going to come into play and you're going to have way more than you need to put into play. Now, after you put that 10% away, it's time to start thinking about that credit card debt. Whether it's business debt or personal debt. 20% of what you're bringing in should go to your debt. And if you feel like you're not making enough to put 20% on your debt, then it's time to start looking at your financials. Maybe you need to make more or maybe you need to lower some of your expenses. As a career-driven person, 20% of that check, whether you're getting one check, two checks, or three within a month, should go directly to your debt. If you are a business owner, same thing applies. Now, you may have to break it up because you'll have business debt and you'll have personal debt. Understand that your business debt and personal debt should be separated. If you have non-business income coming in, that non-business income should be separated from your business income. Do not get those mixed up. Now, if you are one of those business owners, everything that you do is connected to your business, fantastic. Then that means all that money that you're making, 20% of that needs to be going towards your business debt. Doing both of these things will turn you into a powerhouse. Now, I started my first business six years ago, and I was not doing any of this. It took me years, years, to start making the type of moves that I'm making now that's setting me up to where I don't have to worry about when a crisis comes because my family and I are well taken care of. Doing things like this, making those small different changes into your lifestyle can most definitely make you a more wealthy person in the future. This was Life Talk with Raw Words with Levi. Like, share, comment, DM me for any topics that you want me to talk about, and I'll be right back with another one. I. Right?